One of the first sort of real spells Everton have had trying to build something and now Russo breaks. Lovely ball from Russo into the space for Thomas, decides to cut it back to Toon, who will take a shot as well. What a fabulous goal from Ella Toon. It didn't take United long. Manchester United have been on top for the opening five minutes or so of this game and Ella Toon has got a reward with a beautiful strike. It's the first for it really that Everton have had forward. They lose it and just what a beautiful move this is. Russo picks it up, see she's got space and off she is on her bike. But she's looking everywhere for where she can find a teammate. Simple slid ball through to Thomas. I'm thinking, shoot, she doesn't. She gives it a Toon and she does. You give us a stat earlier about how many goals she scored against Everton and here she is with the start and adding I think it's her fourth isn't it against the Toffees and what a beauty it is keeper has no chance Christensen Emsley Emsley decides to take a shot as well and off the crossbar the look is just not there is it for Everton Claire Emsley with a perfect opportunity and a great strike. She's got the space, she winds up for it. Oh, it's a snorting drive and it's very close. And let's see again. <laughs> Almost slipped away. And Everton have found an equaliser. Lack of communication for Manchester United. What on earth went on there? Well, I thought it was a foul. I thought the Manchester United player has pulled back. I was waiting for the referee to blow up, but no. This Simone McGill that will put a name to it. So I know Batia with a header. Torres Dutt here shepherding it back to Mary Earps and kicked out of her hand. She's not got a full purchase of the ball, two hands on the ball, is that the, the question? It's speculative from McGill. Goals definitely stands. And that's the opportunistic kind of play. Toon. Russo's there. Toon goes four at it. Forced to say from McKeever. But what an opportunity for Ella Toon, and she can hit them. You can see what she's, she's having a look. It's just opened up for her. It's a great run from Russo, pulling the defender. Is it going in? I think it is. It's a flying stop by McKeever. Picture book stuff. We can't concede goals like that. Um, and we have to be, we have to have the grit and determination that we all know we want every time we step on the field. It's not, I'm not talking that they're not running, they're not working, they're working hard for each other. But it's the last moment, when I'm running alongside someone, I've got to have a little bit of edge. I've got to have a little bit of that resilient toughness to take the ball off the opponent, to, to force the direction of play. Um, and then when we're in the final third, to run the extra five yards when we need to be there. It's, uh, it's just something with, it's like a teething problem we're, we're, we're working towards and, and I know the players have everything in them to do that so we're going to keep working on it and once it comes you'll see it'll be, it'll be a wonderful thing to watch. Obviously we're a bit disappointed that we haven't come away with all three points. We go into every game wanting to come out with uh, three points so to concede that goal quite late on is uh, disappointing and we'll, we'll learn from it and we'll work hard and we won't dwell on it too much but I think we just need to be better in both boxes. We're quite frustrated with the ending of the game. We thought that we had a really good first half um, and that we had lots of moments where we dominated control of the game. Um, and so it's so frustrating to concede quite late into the game. We did push on after that, but it was sort of too little too late at that point. And so we're really disappointed that we weren't able to get the full three points for our fans here today.